In an era where dominance on the seas increasingly depends on invisible waves, rather than visible firepower, Russia has introduced a new maritime platform that encapsulates this strategic evolution. The PK-1200 patrol ship, also known as Project 0419O. Designed and built by Russian naval engineers, the PK-1200 is a next-generation patrol vessel purpose-built for electronic warfare EW dominance. At the heart of its advanced capabilities lies the Capuchon K-12 Electronic Warfare Suite, a system specifically engineered to detect, interfere with, and neutralize enemy radar and communication systems. The PK-1200 is not a traditional warship in the sense of heavy guns or missile arsenals. Rather, it represents a profound shift toward electronic superiority in coastal waters. The vessel is optimized for operations in littoral zones, areas where the Russian Navy expects electronic interference and reconnaissance to play a more dominant role than conventional combat. Its compact yet versatile design allows it to conduct swift surveillance, patrol critical maritime routes, and perform cyber electronic denial operations in high threat zones. According to sources within the Russian defense industry, the PK-1200 platform was developed to enhance the Navy's capabilities in information-centric warfare. This patrol ship is not just a sensor carrier, but a full-fledged electronic combatant, a military analyst close to the project said. What truly sets the PK-1200 apart is the integration of the Kapyushan K-12 electronic warfare suite a highly classified and advanced system developed to give Russia a strategic edge in electromagnetic combat. The K-12 suite is capable of performing a wide range of EW tasks, including Electronic Support Measures ESM, Detection and Tracking of Enemy Radar Emissions, Radio Signals and Communication Channels, Electronic Attack EA, Active Jamming of Adversary Radar Systems, Disrupting Command and Control Links, and deceiving enemy electronic sensors through spoofing techniques. Electronic Protection EP, defense against incoming EW attacks through signal masking, frequency hopping, and digital filtering to protect its own radar and communication systems. According to leaked reports and indirect confirmations from Russian defense circles, the K-12 suite is capable of multi-band operations and employs artificial intelligence algorithms to identify signal types and assign jamming priorities in real time. This automated system can reduce operator workload while simultaneously increasing reaction speed against agile threats such as unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, guided munitions, and networked reconnaissance assets. The PK-1200 was built with modularity in mind. Its hull is streamlined for agility and stealth in shallow coastal waters. The superstructure features integrated masts and low-profile sensors to reduce radar cross-section. The ship is lightly armed with small-caliber autocannons and machine guns for close-range defense, but its primary weapon is electromagnetic. The vessel's operational doctrine is based on the following mission sets. Electronic dominance patrols in contested zones, particularly near strategic maritime choke points. Support for amphibious and special operations forces, providing jamming cover and disrupting enemy coordination. Counter-reconnaissance and anti-drone warfare, where its EW suite can effectively neutralize surveillance UAVs and communication relays. Maritime border protection, especially in areas where foreign surveillance activities are suspected. Despite being a relatively small vessel, the PK-1200 punches far above its weight class due to its electronic warfare capabilities, making it a formidable opponent in non-kinetic conflict environments. Russia's naval doctrine has been undergoing a transformation, shifting from traditional hardware-based strength to asymmetric capabilities that leverage electronic warfare, cyber tactics, and unmanned systems. 
The PK-1200 is part of a broader fleet modernization program that includes other EW-capable vessels, like the Karakurt-class corvettes and the new-generation Grachinok-class anti-sabotage boats. The timing of the PK-1200's appearance is notable, with NATO increasingly dependent on high-tech reconnaissance, satellite-based navigation and drone coordination, the Russian Navy seems intent on targeting the very technologies that give Western forces their edge. If you can't be seen targeted or communicated with, you can't fight, a retired Russian Navy officer remarked. Indeed, recent military exercises in the Arctic and Baltic seas have reportedly included PK-1200 class vessels conducting live jamming operations, simulating real-world disruptions against radar and drone networks. These drills not only tested the ship's EW systems under operational conditions but also sent a clear signal. Russia is preparing for wars that are fought in the electromagnetic spectrum. The emergence of the PK-1200 has not gone unnoticed by Western analysts. NATO officials have reportedly expressed concerns about Russia's growing ability to interfere with electronic command and control systems in maritime domains. A leaked report from a European naval intelligence unit describes the PK-1200 as a mobile electronic threat node, capable of shutting down key assets such as drones, maritime patrol aircraft, and even shipborne radar. The report also noted that the vessel's potential to operate in swarms, several PK-1200s coordinating to create a dense EW fog, could cripple enemy situational awareness over large stretches of coastline. The PK-1200 represents more than just a new patrol ship, it marks a paradigm shift in naval combat priorities. In a battle space increasingly defined by bites instead of bullets, the PK-1200's emphasis on electromagnetic maneuvering, signal denial, and electronic deception embodies the future of warfare at sea. As more units enter service, it's clear that the Russian Navy is betting big on the Capuchon K-12 suite and its integration into mobile, stealthy platforms like the PK-1200. Whether this will give Moscow a decisive edge in future conflicts remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The next naval war may be fought in silence, with no warning but a sudden blackout of radar screens and a deafening silence over the radio waves.